What's up everybody? It's Lender and I'm going to show you guys the steps that you want to take to fix this issue that a lot of people are getting. Uh, I actually got the same exact issue but I'm in the game now. I'm able to make a character and I'll actually show you guys that, uh, that I did get through this. I did get past it. So uh, I'm going to put the link for this in the description. Excuse me so that you guys can uh, follow along. But I'm also just going to show you what to do. Super, super easy. Don't worry if you don't know computers, if you don't know networking, if you don't know basic computer troubleshooting. That's what I'm here for, guys, to make it easier for you and get you in the game so we could all play this game. So first thing you're going to want to do, if you're getting this error right here, server authentication failed, please try again, 10010. So what you're going to want to do first, and this, is, this applies to any kind of issue, whether it's New World, Lost Ark, any game that you're having a hard time getting into or getting stopped by one of these error messages, the first thing you want to do is verify the integrity of the files in Steam. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. And again, the instructions are going to be in the description. Uh, you just go to this link and it'll show you exactly what to do. So uh, first step. You want to do the Steam integrity check. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Steam. You want to make sure you're on Lost Ark, and then you're going to go over here to Manage and Properties. Once you're in Properties, you want to go to Local Files, and you want to v verify the integrity of the game files. And you just click on this. It's going to go through its steps. Wait till it's finished. Uh, it could take a little bit, but you know, it shouldn't take too long, but this is the very first step that you want to do and uh, Hopefully this is all you need to do after you do this I'm going to show you guys what to do next if you still can't get in so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video Okay, so once that's been completed and done try launching the game if you still can't get in the game What you're going to want to do is go to your um, IPv settings and that's internet protocol version 6 and it's the same place where you'd go um, to do like static IP addresses. If you've ever done port forwarding to get in games, you know, you have to go to your network connections, right click properties. So I'm going to show you that right now. So toggling the IPv6. Normally we mess around with the IPv4, not the 6. But today we're going to. So what you're going to want to do is what I do is I just go to the control panel. All right. So you're going to do this. Just go to start, type in control panel, bam. You're going to want to go to <clears throat> Network <clears throat> and Sharing Center. And then you're going to want to go to your um, adapter settings. And if you have a bunch of different network adapters, you know, it's not the Kaspersky one. You're just looking for the regular network adapter that you use. Uh, this is your Ethernet card. It's either going to be built in or you might have a, you know, a, a card that's, uh, you know, that goes into like a PCI slot or whatever. But anyway, yeah, you want to right click on your Ethernet adapter and go to properties. Then you're going to see this is where you normally do like your static IP address and stuff. You go in here, you know, 192.168, all that stuff. But today we're going to go into Internet Protocol version 6. And then from there, you're going to go to, you're going to uncheck the Internet Protocol version 6 box. All right. So we're going to do that right now. And you just uncheck it right here. And then you hit OK. And that's it. Uh, once you do that, just hit OK. And then try launching the game again. Now, if you still cannot get in, if the game is still not working, and remember, you do have to hit OK. So you go in here, you go to Properties. You scroll down, not the 4. Make sure you don't do anything to the 4. Only the 6. I'm going to go ahead and turn mine back on because I already fixed the issue. And uh, I was able to get in. So if that still doesn't work, you're going to do some stuff in the IP config in your command prompt. So if it still doesn't work, you're going to go to your start menu, type in CMD, and you have to make sure you run this program as an administrator. Don't just hit CMD and open. You want to either run as administrator or right click on this and run as administrator, just like that. You're going to get this uh, DOS looking window. And this is where you can like check your different uh, information, your IP address and stuff. Normally you'd go in here, you've probably seen this before, IP config space forward slash all, and it gives you all your information. But that's not what we're doing today. We are going to be resetting and registering our DNS, releasing, renewing, and we're going to reset the windsock. And this does, this fixes a lot of weird network issues um, that I've done in the past. So first things first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start over. 
So we're going to type in CMD, like Charlie, Mary, David, run as administrator. Very important step. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, and I could put all this stuff in the description too, but you're going to want to do, before you do anything, you're going to want to first flush your DNS. So all we're going to do is we're going to type in IP, like internet protocol, config, like configuration. Then we're going to do a space forward slash flush DNS, no spaces there. And then you're going to hit enter. All right, so it should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. After that, we're going to type in, we're going to register a DNS. So we're going to type in the same thing and you could just press the up arrow and it will give you the last thing you typed in and we can just get rid of that. So it's going to be IP config space, or you could just uh, copy and paste right from here. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back into our command prompt. We're going to get rid of all this and just control V, hit enter. It's going to take a little bit. And it uh, registration of the DNS resource records for all adapters of this computer have been initiated. All errors will be reported uh, in the event viewer in 15 minutes. Perfect. After that, the next step is going to be release. So we're going to do IP config space forward slash release. So we're just going to type IP config space forward slash R E L E A S E. Or again, you can just uh, control V, you know, you can copy and paste it and that'll work too. All right. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to renew. So we're going to do IP config space forward slash renew. Give it a second and there you go. So now we're going to, the last step is going to be the windsock reset. This one's kind of different. So we're going to type in net sh, no IP config, space windsock, just like it sounds, space reset, and then we're going to press enter. And it, it should say successfully reset the windsock catalog. If you get anything else, you're probably going to have to Google that problem and that's going to be your problem, whatever is keeping you from doing this. So um, what they're saying is you want to shut down your computer completely. Don't make it go to sleep. Don't just press the button. Go down here, go to the power, and actually shut down. And then wait till it shuts off, obviously, and then turn it back on. Now, when you go to turn it back on, uh, I would actually shut down Steam. And then you're going to want to type in Steam here. And the way to really shut down Steam is not by you know, going in here and just hitting the X, Steam's going to still be running. It's going to be running in your task manager down here or your taskbar. So you want to go and actually right click on Steam and go to exit. Completely shut down Steam. And then to get it back on as an administrator, you just type, type Steam inside your search bar and you're going to want to click run as administrator. You'll get a little prompt. You want to hit yes. So after all that, you should be able to go in and play, hopefully. And if you still can't play, if you're still having an issue, I'm going to show you the next thing that you can do that people found on Reddit. Uh, it mainly applies to Windows 7 users. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So the next step is to update your .NET to use TLS 1.2. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds... Um, daunting and maybe a little more advanced than what you're used to, but it's actually not that bad. And this is from Reddit. Okay. So this fix, everything I just showed you guys is completely 100% safe, completely safe. If you're unsure or you, you know, you are kind of nervous about doing this next step, it is going to update your registry. And when you get into your registry, uh, it can break some stuff. So use this one at your own risk. But if you're die hard, want to get in the game and want to try absolutely everything you can, um, you're going to want to do this. And again, I believe this is just for the Windows 7 folks, but you can try it anyway. So what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to read this and tell you guys what's going on. So, uh, and I'll read this first part. Uh, I saw this posted on the game Steam forums by somebody who in turn saw it in the game's Discord, and it seems to be working at least for Windows 7 users. 
It doesn't fix the error on other platforms though. Hopefully somebody comes up with a solution for the rest of us too. So um, this is for the cannot connect to server, exiting the game, error code, blah, blah, blah. So what the problem is, Lost Ark fails to contact one of its internal servers on startup. And this is the server, service.maestro.use social games a2z.com. As it cannot establish a secure connection with the server. The destination server rejects anything below TLS 1.2, whereas the game and the .NET framework version it ships with try to forcefully contact the server using TLS 1.1. The solution is to force the .NET installation to use OS TLS protocols instead of whatever the game is directing and disable insecure TLS protocols at OS level so that the default server protocol is TLS 1.2. So you have to have Windows 7 Service Pack 1. If you don't, make sure you download it. Always do your Windows updates. And then you're going to want to download this reg file and run it and pretty much just press yes to any of the warnings. And what it's going to do is it's going to disable the TLS protocols um, less than 1.2 and force .NET to use OS TLS settings to request negotiation. Now, this is the part I was talking about. This may have unintended consequences that could affect other programs, internet connections to revert. Just delete each key listed inside the file from regedit. Everything should revert back to normal. Or you can back up your registry. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so to back up your registry, it's super, super easy. Once again, you're gonna to want to, and I would do this before. Do this before you download and use this file. I promise you, do this anytime you make any changes to your registry because you could really mess stuff up in your registry. So I'm going to put a link for this in the description as well, how to actually back it up, but it's super, super easy. So what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to close this, I'm going to close this, go to your search, type in reg and um, register, registry editor should pop up. And again, run as administrator, hit yes to the prompt. You're going to come up here. You're going to go to file. This is all you have to do file export. Uh, you could put it right on your desktop. This is just showing you where it's going to be saved on your computer. And you're just going to type in backup. Or you can type in something like um, registry before lost arc fix. And this will make your registry go back to the way it was before you made this change, just as a precaution. So we're going to put it right here on the desktop. We're going to hit save. And there's your backup registry. To run it, you just double click on it and run it. So now for the fix, uh-oh, yeah, we won't, we won't worry about that. <laughs> oh God, didn't even change anything. There we go. So what you're going to want to do, we're going to go back to, this is the final step. If you have windows seven, if you have windows 10, you might want to try it anyway. If you're really gung ho about playing this game and uh, getting in there now which I would be, and uh, I didn't have to do this. I did all the Steam stuff. I did the, um, the, uh, the network resetting and all that stuff, and that seemed to fix my issue. So you're going to want to go down here and make sure, again, you have Windows uh, 7 Service Pack 1. And all you're going to do is you're going to open this up. It's going to download the registry key. So you're just going to save it. And it's going to put it in your downloads. You can just show in folder or I'll go a little bit slower. So anything you download, you just click on here where your downloads are, or if you're using, you know, any other browser, it might be down here at the bottom left, but you want to right click show in folder. It's going to be in your downloads and you're just going to double click on it. It's going to ask you if you, are you sure you want to run it? Just hit yes to all the warning prompts and it's going to change a couple registry keys. And, um, just like he says right here, run it, press yes to any warnings. It's going to disable the protocols that are less than 1.2 and force.net to use OSTLS settings to request negotiation. So just run it and you should be good to go. All right. So if you guys have any questions, if you get stuck, if I went too fast, if you just have no idea how to do any of this stuff, get in my discord, um, message me on YouTube or just put a comment in there and, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll put my discord in there. So you guys could just message me directly and I could help you. We could share screens and uh, I'd be more than happy to walk anybody through this to get your game going. Anything we just covered. No problem. I got you guys and ladies. I got you. All right. So let me know and uh, let me know if it works. Good luck, everybody. I hope to see you guys in Lost Ark. Have a great day.